When you're in college, you see many of these letters being shown around campus. These might just look like Greek letters to you, but to the people in Greek life, it's a lifestyle. Combinations of these letters represent different fraternity and sororities on many campuses. One of the new and unique fraternity and sororities is Chi Phi Sigma, the first Caribbean fraternity and sorority incorporated. This fraternity and sorority is a social community service based organization. There are a group of students that has root to the Caribbean background, even though you don't need to be from the Caribbean to join. This organization not only promotes the Caribbean background and knowing the roots, but also promotes doing good in school, being responsible, and doing work. One of the founding fathers talks about how the organization started. Well, it all began uh, in the back in 99. Um, it was a group of us who were friends and we all had that Caribbean connection and we were friends. There's no other Caribbean organization out there, so let's try and start it. One thing you need to know about Kai Phi Sigma is that everything has a meaning. Sanu Budu, one of the founding fathers of the Beta chapter, talks about the symbolism of the Kong Show. One of the, one of the most significant aspects of our, in our organization is uh, the Kong Show. The Kong is a sea creature found all over the Caribbean and has a common food source for many people all over. Um, but it also holds another significance in our organization. In uh, Haiti, there's a statue called the Neg Maron. The Neg Maron is a statue in Haiti that, were, that depicts a freed slave holding a, what we call a cutlass, but they call a machete here, and blowing a conch shell on top of a small mountain. What the Neg Maron symbolizes is that during the slavery times in Haiti, the people escaped from the plantations and went up into the mountains. And throughout the night, the escaped slaves would blow the conch shell. By blowing the conch shell, they would indicate where other slaves can run to to find freedom and salvation. The hold is one of the biggest symbols in our organization. We start a lot of our call-ins or um, chance with the blowing of the dock shell as a reminder of the hardship and the times that people went through in the Caribbean to make it to where we are today. Today, the fraternity has four chapters in different schools such as Bloomfield College, USF, Brooklyn College, and Pennsylvania State University. Caribbean Game Night is a workshop about two influential games, Dominoes and Lodi. They explain how it affected various cultures during the slave period. Another event that I attended was Carnival Exposed. Carnival Exposed is an educationally based workshop focused on three main islands in the Caribbean, Trinidad, Barbados, and Antigua. They host an amazing celebration called Carnival and they show how it has affected the world culturally and socially. One of the best parts of the events is the food, besides the fun you have and the knowledge you attain. Not only they host school events, but they host out of school events as well. One of the events they had was at Jerkut, which is a local Caribbean restaurant. They had a very successful costume party at Jerkut after Caribbean game night. Besides how the organization looks through the school and the student body, within it lies a bond of friendship that really promotes familyhood. When they're not hosting events, they socialize with each other like a regular family would. They hold barbecues, go to the beach, go fishing, and even sometimes celebrate family occasions with each other. When one looks at this organization from no matter what standpoint, you can see the special bond they attain with each other when they are working or socializing together. These group of students will definitely have a special place in their hearts for their brothers and sisters way after they graduate college.